Hey guys, it's Jen here from Nails by Jen. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time to my channel, thanks for stopping by. So today I am doing another watch me work video. Now this client does not like to do themed nails, but I did want to give her a little bit of Valentine's Day goodness. So I decided to do some pink marbling. I've got some flakes in there, some iridescent chunks, some glitter, all kinds of things. So if this is something you're interested in, stick around, keep watching. As always, don't forget to click that like and subscribe for me. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below and let's get started. All right guys, so I'm starting off by removing her old set. I also have a watch me work video on these nails. I will post the link below for you guys if you wanna check that one out as well. So I'm going to debulk her nails. The design that she currently has on is just placed on top of her acrylic, but I'm going to be doing the new design by encapsulating it. So I am going to have to take down the acrylic and debulk it to a very thin layer. I'm also going to remove any lifting if she has any, and I'm using my 4X carbide bit. Next, I'm going to go in with my cuticle pusher and I'm pushing back the proximal nail fold, exposing that cuticle. And then I'm going to go in with my hand file. I do like to use the 100-100 grits from On Vogue. They are my favorite. I have currently tried the 100-100 grit from Young Nails and I am liking the grit of them. I'm just not loving the shape and it's just something that I'm sure I have to get used to, but I do like both of them. So as I said, I'm going to go in with my hand file and I'm going to remove any little bits of lifting that are left. I'm going to define her shape and I'm also going to remove the shine from her natural nail. Now I am using 100, 100 grit files, but I do keep all of my clients files for them. So the file that I'm using, although it is 100, 100 grit, it is quite dull because I used it in her last session. So I always use their old file to do this part. And then when I am going to finish file the nail, I end up grabbing grabbing a new file. Thank you. 
So now I'm going in with my little cuticle bit and my e-file and I am just removing all of the cuticle. Now there are a couple of bits that I really like for this process. I love this one here. I get this one at the pink chair and I forget what it is called but it comes in either a two pack or a three pack. I will link them below for you guys. And there's another one that I use that I've had from eBay for years. I've got a bunch of them but I just noticed that the pink chair has started carrying them as well. And I believe those ones are called the diamond flame bits. So again, I I will put links down below for you guys but you want to use these on a medium to low speed as we are not trying to dig into the natural nail at all you are just wanting to remove any dead skin or cuticle And the last couple of steps that I'm going to do before applying the acrylic is to cleanse the nail. As you guys know, I use a 50-50 mix of 99% alcohol and 100% acetone, and I just scrub it off with this little brush here. And then I'm going to go in with two coats of my protein bond. So now you might be a little bit confused by the brush that I'm using because the protein bond, as we know, comes in a little white bottle, but I really cannot stand that little white bottle. I hate the brush in it. I am so sorry, Young Nails. I love, love, love protein bond. I just do not love the bottle. So I actually put the protein bond in a bottle that I purchased off of eBay and I have a way easier time applying it and it goes a lot quicker and it's way less strain on my hand. Alright guys, so I pulled out quite a bit of different acrylic colors and glitters. So we're starting off with the Young Nails Speed Clear and then I pulled out two fuchsia acrylics. So this one is a custom mix one that I have and then the other one is from Glam and Glitz. I will post everything below that I can. So this is NCA 435 and then I also pulled out some glitter from the pink chair. It's called Make Out With Me. It's one of my favorite glitters from the pink chair and I've got some Born Pretty um, white chrome here. I actually did not use this white chrome it's kind of a pearl but I ended up not even using it in her design and then I also have these born pretty flakes these are my absolute favorite iridescent flakes I will link them below as well for you guys because they are bomb and I've got some Joann's chrome this one is the unicorn and then I believe that the last thing that I'm going to show you guys is nope I lied. It's some more glitter from the nail team. It is called Laser Glitter and it is the color fuchsia. It's holographic and it's a chunky mix. And then I've just got some white um, acrylic as well. So I'm going to start off by adding a little thin layer of clear. You guys know I always like to do this when I'm working with glitters or I'm working with acrylic colors, just so that when you go to do a fill and you wanna take down the color, you're not filing into the natural nail. So just do a thin layer of clear. And then I'm going to get into adding the colors. Now guys, I had no rhyme or reason when I was doing her nails. Honestly, her and I were having such a good chat that I just started blobbing stuff on the nail. I started off by applying the acrylic colors so I did both of the fuchsia acrylic colors and then I added some white and then I went in with my unicorn chrome from Joann's and also my flakes and my glitter.
Alright guys, so that is it for all of the color and the glitter and next I'm going to encapsulate or cap with clear acrylic and then after that I'm going to hand file the shape. I'm going to give her her little daggers. As you guys know, this client loves to have them super, super pointy and then I'm going to buff them and then apply my favorite top coat which is the Young Nail Stain Resistant. All right guys, so here is how they turned out. They are Valentine's Day nails without too much Valentine's Day because as I said, this client does not like themed nails, but she loves glitter, so I knew I could give her some bright fuchsia pink nails that were sort of on the Valentine's Day side, but they didn't go too gaudy for her. So I hope that you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, please share it with someone else. Leave any questions or comments you have in the comment section below, and as always, have an amazing day.